staan hier in Hotel de Dillen in Amsterdam. En Dominique, wat gaan we hier eigenlijk doen vandaag? We hebben een interview met de Laura Maché, famous make-up artist. En uh, spannend voor mij in ieder geval. Voor mij ook hoor, hartstikke leuk. Laura, can you tell us they call you the queen of foundation? How did that happen? <laughs> queen of foundation? Um, maybe because I'm obsessed with skin. And doing the skin the most naturally possible. It's a uh, technique. You work as well with loads of celebrities like really like Madonna, Sarah Jessica Parker and like Mariah Carey, but how's to work with them? Well, actually, um, you find that celebrities have a kind of the same obsession. They don't really, they're very used to makeup and they wear makeup all the time. They usually prefer to have a sense of their skin, sensuality-wise, um, something that they still can touch and live with and express themselves with without feeling that they have an inch of foundation on. Yeah. So it's more, it's really crucial. I would, say, I would say that you could do the eyes very smoky, you could do super red lips. I mean, you could do all kinds of different uh, uh, stylized makeup. I think the skin still has to have a sense of reality. Yeah. Every time when I have a job, uh, like a big job, I, I work with like uh, mm -hmm. famous people. I'm sort of nervous always, it's my tension. Mm. How's that with you? Um, I think it's something that you learn how to pass over. At one point, it's very important also to understand that the celebrity herself is very insecure. And she needs someone that has um, strength and professionalism yes. to be able to really uh, counteract a little bit their own nervousness. And mm -hmm. I think by bringing them um, a report that is very relaxing and encouraging, like, you know, trust me, I'm going to work with you. I'm not going to work against you. Mm -hmm. And when you do someone for the first time who's very famous, you need to really get uh, some kind of a, a connection. And they know that. When they're smart, they try to really connect with you. I, I saw that, that you have something with noses. Is that true? It's not that I have something um, against the fact that women will redo their nose. I totally understand it, and sometimes it's great uh, when it's really necessary to balance out the face yeah. um, in order for them to feel first more confident, and then the proportions are better and there is more beauty to it because of the proportion. Now, I feel it's kind of sacred because the nose is really a very big accent on personality. Well, in yeah. America, they so obsess with cosmetic surgery, yes. okay? And with the nose, probably, and as well. It starts with the nose, uh -huh. all right? So every young um, girl, I mean, uh, young woman, I would say, start to wish for their new nose. Do you know what the hang-up is with the nose, then? Their criteria of beauty. Yes. And, you know, um, they decide in America that the smallest and the narrower the nose is, the bigger, more beautiful you are, the more, beauty, more feminine. That's exactly, it's a big criteria for beauty. Uh -huh. um, and we know if you learn history and art history particularly, you can see how the criteria have changed. So is there a focus in Europe as well on a particular part of the face? Um, I think Europe is more obsessed by personality and expression. Yeah, um, okay. Which is probably why I'm so proud to be European. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and nothing wrong with American, trust me. Um, yeah. they, so many things are good there. Yeah. Um, but on, their, on this part, I don't yeah. agree with them. I've been reading your beautiful book this weekend. And one of your sayings was stop the makeover madness. And I fully agree with you. Yeah. This is a very European thing um, to feel this way because all these makeover programs, they come from America. Yes, but then going through your book, I saw all yeah. these beautiful pictures of the celebrities, but they were photoshopped completely. You know, so that was a bit of a contradiction in what you say and what you show. I feel more comfortable saying it as I'm in Europe. Yeah. <laughs> we feel probably a little more strained saying that in America, but I do really want to uh, take the step of being, I don't care if I am called old-fashioned, um, it, it, it's... 
in my point, it's not a question of being old-fashioned, but my concept of beauty has nothing to do with being perfect. And in each class I teach, I always give that advice to not listen to that and to listen to your heart and your soul and feel beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's a banality to say feel beautiful from within. It's a tremendous work. Yeah. Okay. Um, did you always knew that you got got really famous like in this job in your, in your work like Laura Mache is a big brand no and I never wanted to and <laughs> well but going to America you must have had a dream no no no, no. and uh, that the honest truth I, n I was not ambitious that way I had no intention to become famous that was not interesting for me to be on the stage yes it, it becomes your life. You do not exist. You are just somebody who's there to make them look their best. Yes. And that became my goal. Mm -hmm. It's not an ego thing. It's more, my job is to make them look the best. Now, Monique, this is the book from Laura Mache, the beauty book. It's her first and only beauty book to me too. What is leuk is that she Madonna al acht jaar lang heeft gedaan. This is a wahnsinnig photo. Deze is ook echt beroemd geworden in de zin van die Geisha look, dat was totaal anders. Wat ik heel leuk vind is dat ze met Sarah Jessica Parker heeft uh, yeah. gewerkt. Wat heb jij met uh, Sarah Jessica nou, Parker? Sarah Jessica Parker is gewoon een icoon qua mode, hoe ze eruit ziet. Ze is totaal niet perfect. Uh. Nou, het was eigenlijk Kabuki die met haar begon. Dus dat Kabuki? Was, Kabuki, dat is een, een, een grote uh, make-up artist, maar heel extreem. Yeah. Dus hij komt echt van de uh, theater uh, make-up af. Nou, en die heeft, uh, is begonnen met Sex in the City. Oké, okay, Sarah viel het niet echt op. Toen ging Laura haar doen en het was in één keer een prachtvrouw. Je hoorde ook overal van, oh wat is zij mooi. En, en dat is wel knap hè, dat vind ik sowieso het, 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 het mooie aan jullie vak gewoon. Maar dat is met weinig, dus eigenlijk met, dus met, met goede foundation, shapen ja. en een nieuw gezicht creëren. Want ja. dat is eigenlijk wat je met Sarah Jessica Parker doet, een ja. nieuw gezicht creëren. Het was leuk hè, om haar te ontmoeten. Ontzettend leuk. Ja. En zeker als dat iemand ook zo gepassioneerd is en down to earth en vanuit haar hart iets doet. En dat, ja. dat spreekt me aan.